I mean, obviously he's highly skilled. He's very fast and uh, sees the ice pretty well. And uh, he's a confident skater out there. And I think that's something you see in practice and something you want to see in the game tonight. And I mean, like I said, he has been a really good camp. And I uh, hope he's, he's going to be better moving forward. Things that uh, you've observed that, uh, that that he needs to, I guess, up his game to, to get to that pro level, you know, to make the jump from AHL to NHL. I think the biggest thing is obviously the decisions he makes between the blue lines and a matter of getting pucks out, getting pucks in in deep, and winning your one-on-one -on -one battles. I think that comes to for him. It's the most important thing right now to just kind of make sure when to make the play and when not. Is it uh, a pace of that too? Not just making those decisions, but how quickly he processes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it gets uh, the game's gonna get more and get heavier and heavier once the season starts, and uh, you, you you can't do too many mistakes because they're gonna be end up in your net. So it's something which he has to learn over time. But it's something which uh, he also has to make sure he gives himself that time as well, not to to make sure he just plays safe the whole time. So you just gotta make sure he keeps the confidence up high, makes plays, and I mean, there's other guys who can help him out on the ice as well. With them, like it, whether it's in practice or I guess now, you know, like that it will be a preseason game. Yeah, I mean, definitely try to talk to him as much as I can and make sure he feels comfortable and uh, he's not afraid to make plays and uh, yeah, just kind of be in a positive mind for him to just like believe in yourself, go out there, make plays, and uh, go from there. How much do you enjoy that part of the game? You know, being that, that the guy that people lean on, the younger players lean on. I think it's fun. I mean, I've been there at some point as well. So and I had uh, great players in front of me who kind of did the same what I'm trying to do right now. So it's uh, something which is cool to see of, of him getting better each and every day. And uh, that's something I hope he's going to make the team eventually. I know you've said in the past your role on this team is to kind of execute the coach's blueprint and get everyone to follow. Adam's a pretty different center than a guy like Adam. So how does your role change when you go from playing with a guy like Adam to Brad? I mean, obviously, the, the, on the defensive standpoint, you got to make sure you maybe cover him a little more than you have to cover Adam. So it's something which uh, which you know, obviously, like I said, he's elite. He has an elite skill set, which uh, which he's not afraid to make plays in certain times. So it's uh, it's a matter of uh, understanding his creativity of uh, feel like okay, he's gonna get that puck through or not. So it's something which is gonna be fun and interesting to play with. And when you play with a guy who's got speed like that, how? Uh, what does that do to your game? Have you noticed when you play with speedsters? Whenever you play with speedsters, I mean, you have to kind of anticipate things a little quicker and uh, you almost like believe in his speed of knowing, okay, I think he's going to get that puck so I don't have to go all the way over to support him. So it's, it's a matter of kind of like helping him and finding out his, his speed and if a matter of if he gets the puck or not. When you were a younger player, who were the most impactful veterans that helped you, like helped show you the ropes that brought you along? I mean, there's names from uh, Dougie Wade, which uh, which was obviously a big player. Then Brian Rolston helped me out. Mark Stride a lot. And once I went to Minnesota, obviously Miko Koi was a was a big leader. We were sitting next to each other on the plane all the time. So it's uh, he was definitely a big role model for me and helped me along the way. Thank you. Thank you.